It's Transformers 96 here with another San Diego Comic Con 2016 video. This time I'm going to be talking about uh, one particular wave of the uh, DC Mattel Multiverse series. So, yeah. So overall, the Multiverse, I really don't collect. Um, I find the Mattel figures, their quality is alright, but it's never very good. Uh, you know, it's just, it's okay at best, basically. Um, and uh, I pretty much decided to stop collecting them. However, they have shown a few figures in this wave that I am very, um, very interested in. And and really am impressed with and definitely want a lot. Um, so that's basically the King Shark Build-A-Figure wave. I'm not 100% sure what this wave consists of. If it is just the figures like around him that are in his wave, I assume that that's the case. However, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I am... And King Shark is a character that I like. He's obviously a Suicide Squad member that basically the Killer Croc is replacing in the film. And uh, he's just... He's really interesting. He's very stupid, actually. Um, but he, he's, he's quite a, an interesting character. And for him, when he appeared on the Flash television show, I was very excited. I certainly didn't expect it, and it really did excite me. So to get a figure of him, I even less expected. I never thought I'd get a figure of King Shark from uh, the TV show, but here we are. We are going to get it, which is awesome. And as you can see, he is massive, too. He's he's not just like a slightly upsized, uh, you know, figure that, you know, just qualifies as a Build-A-Figure. He looks like a Build-A-Figure. He looks like a massive figure, which is sweet, and he is looking really awesome. Um, I believe that these are the figures in the assortment. I think that you'll probably have to buy, like, seven figures. I doubt you'll have to buy, um, uh, uh, Flash again, go because obviously he comes in the wave of uh, the the Justice Buster or something like that. I don't remember that build figure's name, but uh, uh so I, I don't think you'll be able to get um, the Flash in this series, but uh, uh, it, you'll be able to get uh, Zoom, which is really nice. I love to get Zoom, and then um, Garrickson looks really nice actually. I these two figures do look quite good, and they do have like that electric effect on them, which I think is quite nice. It helps uh, make the figure more interesting, and obviously I'm a big fan of villains, so to get the two of them is pretty cool. And there's a better look at King Shark. Looking sweet. I really do love it. We'll get a better look at that head sculpt. There we go. And we can talk about it. As you can see, the detail work. You know, Mattel isn't really known for their detail, but the head sculpt does look really nice. The only, like, bad quality issue that I have with it, that, you know, it's kind of Mattel-ish, is that his head is obviously two pieces that have been screwed together. Um, so you can see the big seam in his head, which does, it, which is very disappointing. However, he does look really nice. He looks like he comes with a, uh, a standard level of articulation for Mattel. Um, so probably ball joint head, ball hinge shoulder, swivel bicep, hinge, uh, elbows, um, swivel wrists, uh, ab crunch that just slightly moves, swivel waist, ball hinge hips, uh, swivel thighs, hinge knees, and hinge ankles. Um, would have liked a slightly better uh, range of articulation. However, this is still good enough. I mean, this is the only King Shark figure from um, from uh, the Flash TV show that we're ever going to get. You know, let's be realistic here. So, uh, I'm a beggar, so I can't be a chooser. Uh, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to be very happy with it. Uh, it is a shame that I do have to buy an entire wave to get this guy, uh, with basically only the Flash TV show characters are the ones that I have interested in, uh, have interest in, and the rest of these I really could care less about. However, uh, they're worth it to build that King Shark. I think it looks sweet. I'm very excited for that. And this Joker does look really cool. I believe that's from the Frank Miller um, Dark Knight Returns uh, a look of Joker, which is nice. I like that second head sculpt. Now, really quickly, I'm not going to talk about all of these multiverse figures, just the King Shark wave, and mainly just the King Shark himself. Um, but there is a, I believe that this Build-A-Figure piece will come with this Robin, and it will be a Toys R Us exclusive, which comes with a King Shark, an alternate King Shark head that's more of his comic appearance, which is awesome. Really happy about this, too. Like, they just, they did this figure so perfectly. I'm so excited, and I, I do like his comic book appearance uh, more with the hammerhead type of uh, head. I, I prefer that. Plus, as you can see, this mouth can open, and the teeth look wonderfully painted and sculpted, and, uh, uh, for Mattel, this looks like just a really good, uh, a really well-sculpted figure, which usually you don't see with Mattel. So it is really nice to see this head sculpt. So yeah, um, it, when I do get that King Shark Builder figure, I'll probably display him with this head just because it looks really nice. So uh, so there you go. Let's Let's get a better image here. There we go. So there you go. That's my video. Basically just talking about the King Shark build figure You know, slightly talked about some of the other figures, but mainly the King Shark build figure um, The multiverse is not a line that I collect anymore. Um, however, 
I'm totally gonna make an exception for this. Super excited for King Shark, and uh, I just cannot wait to build him. Unfortunately, he doesn't come out until spring of 2017, but uh, it'll be worth the wait, because I am stoked for that build of figure. So, there you go. There's my thoughts on the figure. Let me know what you guys think of it, and thanks so much for watching.